Welcome to the Colt Moo Liquor Show. On this episode, we do Jameson Irish Whiskey. John Jameson founded his distillery in Dublin in 1780. It is triple distilled, and it comes in at 40% alcohol by volume. We have our friend and constant companion, Jameson Whiskey, along with uh, Tullamore Dew. This is probably our other favorite Irish Whiskey. Yeah, I find I, I drink Jameson more often just because it's easier to find than Tullamore Dew now. That's very true. It's been a while since I've done just a straight shot of it without chasing it with something. <laughs> I can't quite drink it like that. I can do that with Tullamore, but... I'm going to have to pull out the Guinness. Cheers. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. I like Jameson because it has like the perfect amount of the, that woody barrel flavor. And it's just sweet enough in the back. Mm -hmm. Like Tullamore Dew, well it is probably, pro I probably do like that one a little bit more because it is sweeter. As I say, it's, it's more citrusy and sweeter than what this one is. This one's got more of that whiskey and then yeah. that barrel. This one's more of like a, a man's whiskey, you know? Like, grabs you by the short and curly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like... Take a small glass. I don't know what the hell you would call it as far as the uh, drink. But uh, probably about half full, some ice, cubed ice. Pour the uh, Jameson up to the level of the ice. Let it melt out. And that's kind of one of my favorite ways of drinking Jameson. That is chasing it with beer. Because it yeah. doesn't like doing that. Yeah, totally. This is the uh, one of the great, what do you call those? <laughs> the Harvey Wallbangers. It's a, it's a great Harvey Wallbanger whiskey, for yep. sure. Yep. It's my favorite. Goes great with Guinness. Yep. All right. Let's do our other beers, really. Customary second shot to Gotta make, make sure we still like it. Hmm. To me, like, it could be because I've had a cold, but like, I smell kind of almost like a honey note. Yeah, definitely, I do too. It, it, you get that sweet smell over the uh, the oak, mm -hmm. like you would in like a scotch or something. And you don't. To me, anyway, like I said, it could be because my nose is broken, but I like I don't get a harsh alcohol smell with it like I do like a lot of. The other whiskeys, be it like Canadian or the bourbon whiskeys, it, it's just, you, you smell what it's made of. Yeah, I mean, it's in there, but it's not overpowering like really shitty whiskeys, you know? Yeah. All right, let's go in for our second tasting here. Shall we? Yep, I still like it. Yeah, definitely. Mm. It's oh, very, man. it's easy to drink, especially when you've had a couple of beers already. Oh yeah, definitely. It goes down real smooth. Maybe not so much as your first shot of the night, but after you've had a couple of beers, you got your smoothie going. Yeah. You can do a couple of shots of Jameson and it just fucking puts you, puts you just right. Yeah, I agree. So, as we do with most of these shows now, since on our last one we did it, <coughs> Wero here is going to show you how to make a mixed drink using Jameson. Irish whiskey. Today we do our variation of a Guinness milkshake. Soft chocolate ice cream. Roughly four cups. I don't know. I'm just dumping it in there. Then we add ourselves some Guinness. A little bit of Jameson on there. Irish cream for some uh, whipped cream here. And then let's just pour it on there ish. And now to the blender. And there's your Guinness milkshake. We have the Guinness milkshakes, uh, cold moose style. These ones got a little thin, but I mean, we're just here to review the flavor, so still should be good for that. They smell mostly of the chocolate ice cream. Yeah, it just smells like ice cream. But I am looking forward to this. There's a lot of Jameson in here. <laughs> Half a cup. Cheers. Oh, holy fuck balls. That is delicious. Oh my god. I oh, need man. to go up to the store and get about five more <laughs> gallons of ice cream. <laughs> holy crap. I mean, you can tell that they're, like, it's not a straight up milkshake, but you'd be hard pressed to say, like, that what's actually in it. This would be almost like the difference. This is more of like a, a, a melted chocolate malt versus a milkshake. Mm -hmm. Totally. 
Totally. Like, that's what it reminds me of, is a chocolate malt versus just your standard... It, yeah, like the ones you get at the, like, the, uh... The crappy ones at the fair? The double A, or the double A, like, baseball games. Yeah, you know, yeah, They come yeah. by with the malts. Comes in a little, like, cup with yeah, a stick. Yeah, with a stick you gotta scoop out. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it, it reminds me of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't really taste the alcohol. You don't I taste, taste the Jameson. I taste no alcohol whatsoever. Like, I kind of get a hint of maybe a little bit of the Irish cream. A, li a little bit on the end, there's a little bit of a something there. Like, it's not quite a burn, but it's approaching a burn. <laughs> yeah. So it's a little bit of the, like, the fuzz from the beer, a little bit of the, uh, the alcohol, but you can barely tell. This, this could be very lethal in large doses. Definitely. I, I feel like, I think I'm feeling it now. <laughs> Holy crap. Or maybe it's the James. <laughs> the like straight, I said, there was half a cup of James. The straight in shots this. that we had earlier might have something to do with it too. But holy yeah. shit, man! That that's that turned wonderful. out way better yeah. than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Turns out Guinness milkshakes are fucking delicious. <laughs> fucking ain't right, man. Who knew? Who knew? Once again, we would like to thank you for joining the Kumu Liquor Show. Ow! Jameson is awesome! <laughs> <laughs>